All right, so you guys know what Shonen Jump is, right? Shonen Jump is pretty much a magazine in Japan and they publish some of the most popular manga. Some examples of the manga that they publish is Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, and you know, that's just to name a few. And you guys might notice when you watch an anime and it shows the title screen, for example, like Naruto, they will say like Shonen Jump's Naruto. You know, it's because Shonen Jump is the one that published it. And Shonen Jump also released a video game with uh, Shonen Jump characters, which is pretty much like a video game like, um, like Super Smash Bros, but it involves you know the characters like Goku and Luffy so I mean that's really interesting well anyway here in Japan they had a Shonen Jump pop-up store and they always have these stores but pretty much what a pop-up store means is that they open up the store temporarily so anyway I saw this pop-up store and when I saw it the little kid inside of me got excited so obviously I went inside and well here's a picture of like the entrance of the store and it's called Jump Shop and you can see like all the characters on there you have Luffy like right in the center then Goku like on the left you got One Punch Man up there too and then you can see the date on the bottom it says like it's only gonna be open for like two weeks so I mean there it is and then here's some pictures so you can kind of see like what kind of stuff they have and they also had a gallery of one piece iconic moments in the manga and when I went inside the gallery it was really cool and everything and there was a lot of spoilers man like I couldn't really enjoy the gallery because I didn't want to see any of the spoilers and yeah they had like a bunch of stuff there was like souvenirs snacks t-shirts they also had Luffy's hat which was really good detailed hat and you know just a bunch of little things that I wanted and well one of the things that really stood out to me was these cards right here like these little booster cards. And when I bought these, they gave me this free gift right here. I don't really know what it is. Looks like a pencil bag. Maybe it's a, like a coin bag. It has a Tokyo Ghoul. You know, you can see it right there. Well, anyway, I took it, you know. And then uh, I also picked up these booster packs. When you look at the booster pack, you got Goku right in the center. And you got the rest of these characters right here. You got that, that guy right there. I don't know what his name is. I know her, that's Ariel. So here, you guys can kind of take a look at that. Volume 1, whatever that means. So, I picked up three of these packs. I don't know what kind of cards are inside. I have never seen these kind of packs before. But it really caught my attention and you know I just wanted to share with everybody out there. Um, I bought three of them and I'm only going to open up two of them because I kind of want to save one for another time. Maybe do a giveaway or something. I don't know. So I'm only going to open up two of them and I don't know. I'm just really curious to see what is, what's inside. Alright so you know I'm going to be kind of honest. I don't really want to open these but you know I'm going to do it anyway so here we go. Alright first booster pack. Alright, Dragon Quest. Yeah, they definitely just look like collectibles. Um, I do not recognize that character. I do not know who it is. Dragon Quest, I know the series because uh, the creator of the series is the same creator as Dragon Ball Z. Akira Toriyama. As you can see, it's like the same type of art style. And then on the back, you just kind of see like um, the character in the manga. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. 1996. 1989 to 1996, I guess. So there's that one. You got this guy. I have no idea who this guy is. But you know obviously he's a shot and jump character. And on the back, same thing. And I guess like these are like um, popular moments of the manga. So there's that one. Again, I am not familiar with this series right here. This shot and jump series. I have never seen these characters before. Same thing on the back. You got this like girl or guy character. And then a manga frame right here. You know so. And the last card is a holographic card, City Hunter. Again, I'm not familiar with this. I don't know who this guy is or these characters. Maybe one of you guys out there knows who it is, you know. And boom, there's the back. All right, let's go on to the second pack. And I'm kind of hoping to get a character that I am familiar with, like uh, Dragon Ball Z or Naruto or something, but uh, we'll see. All right, first one, Goro Saida. Nope, no idea man, no idea. The art style is cool, but no idea. This is like very old school art style. 1987 to 1988. It's like over 30 years old. Man, that's crazy. Next one. Ah, I really feel bad that I don't know the name of this series. Like I feel like I should know, but I mean there's that one. There's the bag, that little guy with this frog on his shirt. It looks pretty cute. And then we got like a wolf thing. I guess there's like a manga series out there that has to do with wolves. I don't know. Yeah, or no, it's like a dog, a dog looking thing. And then you got like an epic, like an epic manga panel. Yeah, I don't get it, 1983 to 1987. And the last one is the holographic card. Sakito, Sakito. 
Saquito. Yeah, I don't know who you are, Saquito. I'm sorry, man. But he looks pretty aggressive. All right, so those were the Shonen Jump cards. And you know, obviously, all of these manga are like classic Shonen Jump manga that came out like 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you know? And I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get any of the popular characters, maybe like a Goku, that would have been cool. But I still think it's interesting to see, man. Like, you kind of see like how far Shonen Jump has come from like these type of manga to what we have now, you know, One Piece, Bleach, Naruto. So, I mean, they're cool. They're really cool. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you like them? Do you find them interesting? Here, let's take a look at each one of them really quick one more time. There you go, see? And my favorite one, my favorite one is obviously the Dragon Ball Z looking guy from the creator of Dragon Ball Z. That's my favorite one, Dragon Quest. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. You know, what do you think of these cards? Would you be interested in seeing more of this type of stuff? You know, let me know. But yeah, thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace out.